temptation. At times I feel like Kiss is a wild animal and I'm holding on to it. It's in the air. Something is different this night. When somebody says it's over, it ain't over till I say it's over. <laughs> Imagine 27 years of creating rock and roll music, magic, and mayhem. No rules. I we know, are free. I love that. No women get to tell us what to do. You, you love me! 100 million albums sold, and you're about to witness the last chapter they'll write together on a U.S. stage. Okay, the last walk is phenomenal. I get to share it with you. I can't believe I'm so happy about that. I think it's so cool. I am. It really is. Okay, now I'll get out of the way. What a ham. It all comes down to this one last kiss. electrifying artists, Paul Stanley, Gene Simmons, Ace Freely, and Peter Chris, and their canvas emerges as an electrifying assault on every one of the senses. I, I think that what we do is we touch a nerve in people, and I also think that because we're really not pretending to be anything but what we are, which is a bunch of entertainers who are trying to give people their money's worth. And on stage, give they do every inch of themselves. I think the only way I can relate it to is maybe what a boxer does before he gets ready to get into the ring. He could be watching Tom and Jerry cartoons on television, and when the bell goes, you change. The adrenaline rushes. I actually feel myself getting bigger. I feel stronger. I know I've been cut during the shows, get hurt, dropped, burn myself, do all kinds of stuff, but you don't feel the pain. You literally don't feel the pain until you get off the stage hours after that. If you've never seen Kiss on stage, this could be your last chance. If you've never seen them backstage, this may be your first. No matter where the venue, backstage halls are lined with devoted and notoriously demonstrative Kiss fans. The guys have been around for decades, but the girls in the Kiss Army will never get enough of them. Happy birthday to you. And no matter what the level of exhaustion or pressure, before every concert, thank yous to the most loyal of fans, many of whom fly in from around the globe, take center stage. They really are fans from Japan. Yeah, they are. Fly they're very good fans. And we never have, and no. they can't so stand it. We never have. All right, all right, there's We've always marched to the beat of our own drums. We've always done what we wanted to do. I mean, look at us. You have to believe in what you do Maybe to look like this. on a Saturday night after the concerts are over, might I still find you dressed like this sometime? That can be arranged. <laughs> 48 candid hours with a legendary band as their lives are about to dramatically change. Manager Doc McGee reflects back five years to the first thought of putting Kiss back on the road, this time back wearing their makeup, heels, and armor. This is a license to print money. This is going to be monstrous. This will take you to the next level. This will bring you from just being a 70s band to a legendary band such as the Stones and the Who and all that. And they went, yeah, you do get it. It's a band whose legend and look can even shake up other rock and rollers. I'm blown away because when I was 13 years old, they were the first band I ever saw. And they're the reason why I do what I do. I went to Madison Square Garden on December 16th, 1977. Me and John Bon Jovi took a train up together. And at that point, I, I never even picked up a guitar or anything. Like the first night uh, I went to see him, I saw them in the paint, and I looked at Gene and I just. I couldn't move, it was like I was stuck for a second. Indeed, up until first arriving to document their scheduled last two U.S. stage tour concerts in Charlotte and Charleston, 
I only knew Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons without their famous war paint as civilians and friends off stage. I like girls. <laughs> it's a different kind of investigative report I have tonight, but it might still be award Emmy award winning. What do you think? You're allowed to touch it. Go ahead. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, I'll be watching you on stage. Kiss has been such an incredible life and has afforded me the most amazing life. I thank everybody for making this great life possible. You know, and uh, it doesn't end. You know, I'm on this ride as much as anybody else because as much as I'm a member of the band, I'm also a fan of the band. I think it's going to be relief. It's going to be, uh, you know, a big weight off their shoulders that they can finally go home and you remember these guys don't have a life you know they've been traveling they've been around the world they have kids they have families that they've been torn away from for these years and there's been stress on everybody i don't want to do this a day longer than i can do it great i want to quit when people say why are you quitting rather than why don't you quit It's time because we've done it all. For a band that's been criticized for not having a lot of musical content, somebody's bought all those 80 to 100 million albums. We're right behind the Beatles and a number of gold records by any groups in history. I think at the end of the day, we have nothing to be ashamed of and everything to be proud of. In fact, if our epitaph is gonna say anything, it's gonna be kiss one, critics nothing. Showbiz is that rock and roll. Come to think of it, rock and roll is supposed to be showbiz. Kiss could never stop because the people on the street, the fans demand that it continues. So even if we chose to stop it, Kiss will never end. Never!